This is Matthew Jennings, Director of Communications, and I'm out here with... Evan Jacobs, I'm a paraeducator at Ut Middle School. And 2022 Orange County Classified Employee of the Year. And this is Tustin's, Tustin's Week, Week in Review. In Review. <laughs> this week, TUSD was honored to announce paraeducator behavior interventionist Evan Jacobs at Ut Middle School has been selected as a 2022 Orange County Classified Employee of the Year. Superintendent Mark Johnson was joined in a surprise visit by TUSD Board of Education members Allison DeMicholas and Jonathan Stone, UT Principal Heather Bjorquez, District Office Administrators, and District and UT staff. Evan was nominated for going above and beyond for the students and staff at UT. To learn more, head over to our homepage and check out the press release in our news section. All right, this is Coach Gray. We're at Hicks Cannon about the new Hoops Classic. Let's check it out. Let's go. We stopped in to check out the Tournament of Champions over at Hicks Canyon Elementary School on Thursday this week, where students have been practicing for the tournament this weekend. It is a school-based tournament and students are in teams with other students from their schools. Coaches consist of parent volunteers and also TUSD's very own PE coach, Tyler Gray. Good luck to all these student athletes this weekend. Over at Legacy Magnet Academy, four students, Amisha Chandra, Zaina Himani, Alan Sanchez, and Drake Schallhammer were named to Dragon Kim Foundation's 2022 Fellowship class, which inspires youth to impact their communities while discovering and pursuing their passions. Amisha and Zena's Project Fusion combines mental health, physical health, nutrition, and fitness to create camps for teenage girls to learn more about wellness. In a world that is so influenced by social media, they believe it's critical to erase the negative and incorrect stereotypes. The goal is to create a safe space in the community to provide an opportunity to interact with each other and feel comfortable and equip teenage girls with the skills to help themselves. They both say it means a lot that they've been accepted into the program because they now have the capacity to make a difference in the community and help people who they might not otherwise have been able to help. The next steps for Project Fusion is to connect with the community partners and to make camps a reality and begin to market the opportunity. Allen and Drake's Project Socks is a plan to place small vending machines near bus stops or outside homeless shelters. Inside of them would be pairs of socks. Allen and Drake recently found out that socks were one of the most desired pieces of clothing, but one of the least donated items. The goal is to help those who have been displaced or unhoused with access. There will be no cost to those that need a pair of socks. The next step for these two is identifying the community partnerships they need to get donated socks, spare vending machine parts, and a space to build their first prototype. Currently, they have the ambitious plan to build many of the parts themselves and have already started designing them on the computer. They are so thankful to Dragon Kim for giving them the opportunity to make a difference in their community outside of school. English teacher Sarah Fluger said, It has been so rewarding to see these students take an idea that is truly genius and have the opportunity to actually implement it almost immediately. Truly, the lessons these students have learned will follow them for a lifetime and will make a significant difference in the lives they impact. That's it for this week. See you next time and be sure to follow us on social at TustinUSD.